Now, first up this week is the Settlers of Catan. Before it actually was just shortened to Catan, this is a game that Daughter actually found for me at a garage sale for two bucks. Uh, the box was a little bit beat up, but everything inside was pristine. This is a game my local group uh, and I have played for years, and it has not lost its luster. It's a great gateway game. This is also a game that I have actually splurged on and have upgraded with the Game Genic products. I have the uh, docks and I have all the different colors for that because, you know, I had to have green. Uh, I also have the trading post, which houses the cards, and it has a cover on there that uh, attaches to that in a magnetic way, and it becomes a dice tray. So it's a really cool upgrade to have. Next up is Kingdom Builder, and I actually have the second edition big box because I wanted to have all of the expansions. Now, this is a game that I've recently taught my local group, uh, one they really enjoyed. It's one of those simple rule sets, uh, but it has uh, a lot of different things that expand the game. You have the little tokens that you put out on the board. Uh, those are going to allow you to either move some of your houses or add new ones to the board as well. Plus, there is a plethora of cards that are your goals that are going to uh, allow you to score points for various things. So it's always going to keep the game fresh. This is a game that uh, I recommend to a lot of folks because, like I said, it's a simple rule set and it's been a lot of fun for me and my group. A new game that we saw this past year at Gen Con from the op is The Perfect Wave. And as you can see, this is a game about surfing. You're going to be playing numbered cards down to your board, and you're going to want to go from lowest to highest, having sets, having runs, and those are going to give you bonus points. You're also going to be able to do tricks, but you have to get your surfer out there so that when they ride the wave back, you can get those points. And depending on the conditions of the tricks that you're trying to do, you can get bonus points for those as well. It's a light game, it's a lot of fun, and it plays pretty fast. Another new game we saw this past year at Gen Con is Pyramido. Now, this is another fast, family-friendly game where we are going to be drafting tiles that have various symbols on them, and we're going to be placing our markers on those in order to score points. We're going to be playing this over four rounds, and each round we're going to be adding a level to the pyramid. This is a game I think is very accessible to a lot of people, and it plays fast, it's very colorful, and a lot of fun. The latest game in the Trekking series from Underdog Games is Trekking Through History. This is a card drafting game where we are going to be getting uh, tokens based on where we draft that card to place on our itinerary boards. That's going to help us score points and get crystals. Whenever we travel through time and add a card to our tableau, there is a cost in time that we have to pay. We measure that by moving our stopwatch on our main board a certain number of spaces. We're going to play that over three rounds that are going to have different cards come out, and then whoever has the most points is going to be the winner. This is another game that is family friendly and plays very fast. My hot game for this episode is Tumbling Dice from Eagle Griffin Games. This is a game we featured on the channel recently. It's a simple dexterity game where we are going to be flicking four dice over a series of rounds and trying to score points based on the pip value and where the die actually lands on the board. This is a game that everybody that I've played the game with has had a lot of fun, yet I have yet to win. So this is a game you might want to check out. Pirates of Maracaibo has actually been on my radar for some time, but I recently saw a video of it in action, and I think it's going to be available first quarter. We recently received the Ant-Man Deluxe Edition expansion for Marvel Legendary, uh, the MCU version. And that covers all three of the Ant-Man movies. Last week on the channel, we featured the new version of El Grande. And this week, we're going to have a playthrough and review of Camping Flux from Looney Labs. <laughs> 